In this video, we're going to explore Fusion 360 sketching tools, user parameters, and constraints to build the base of our pendant. Before we actually begin, we need to go ahead and save the file. This way, as we're working, Fusion 360 can save on its own, and as we save, it'll just go right where we need it to be. So to do this, we're going to come up to this little button here, the Save button, and we're going to name this one Pendant. And we're going to go ahead and save it in the plural site folder. Now I've got all this stuff set up on my cloud and you guys are totally welcome to follow the same setup. That way you don't lose anything. And we'll go ahead and hit save. With that saved, we can now begin to actually work within Fusion 360. To begin with, we actually want to create a component that's going to hold this pendant. So to do that, we're going to go up to pendant right up here and say new component. And I'm going to go ahead and triple click here and type in pendant underscore body. So now I know that this is the body piece of my pendant. And now I'm going to begin to sketch out what I want this pendant to look like from the side. So I'm going to begin to build the profile. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and use the sketching tools. So we'll come up here to sketch. And I'm going to begin with the lines. And Fusion 360 is going to ask which plane I want to begin on. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here. And I've already predetermined how big I want this pendant to be. Often this will come through a client saying, hey, I want a pendant to be X, Y, and Z size. So for us, we're going to go ahead and build a pendant that is 25 millimeters in diameter, three millimeters thick at its center, and then a millimeter and a half thick at its ends. We want to go ahead and start right here at the origin. And I'm going to begin to pull up and going to go ahead and type in 12.5 because this is half of... 25 and hit enter. We got our beginnings and I'm going to go ahead and hit L on the keyboard and this is going to grab my line tool by default. There and come over 1.5. Excellent. Hit enter. I'm going to move back down to the base. Same setup. Press L. Give it a click and type in 3. Hit enter. Excellent. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm actually going to pull this dimension down so it's out of the way. Next, I want to build a nice round back to this object. So to do that, instead of using a line tool, I'm going to go ahead and use the spline tool. And I can find the spline tool in the same place I found the line tool. Come up to sketch and come down to spline. Same setup. Just start here. Give it a click. Come down to the second one. Click and just go over to this little green check. But we'll zoom in on this little section. And I want to say select so I'm not messing up my lines. And we'll do this. And this is totally to taste. Now that I have a round back to this, I'm going to add a little detail around the outside circumference. To do that, I'm going to add a little circle. So we'll come up to sketch, circle. I'm going to go ahead and choose this first one, center diameter circle. And right on this line is where I want it to start. So I'll give it a click and I'm going to open this up. And let's say mm, 0.75 millimeters and enter. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to constrain this distance from the center of the circle to the front of here. So I'm going to press D on the keyboard and I'll start on this edge and I'll come over to the point, come up. Let's make this one millimeter and hit enter. All right. So now we have the basis of our pendant. Next we can go ahead and move on to revolving this object to give us a nice shape. So we're going to go ahead and exit the sketch. So we'll come over to stop sketch and I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. So we're looking at it from an angle. So to revolve this, we're going to go up into create and revolve. And it's going to ask me what the profile is. So I can go ahead and select a profile and I'm going to select the axis next. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get this line right here. and press OK, because this is exactly what I'm looking for. Sweet, there we go. Now we've actually got a shape that we can use for the base of our pendant. Turn off the grid so we can get a better look at this. All right, this is looking really, really good. To take this to the next level, we're gonna go ahead and add a user parameter. 
So if a client comes to me and says, hey, we really like this pendant and the design, but we would like to make it a little bit smaller, or maybe we want to make it a little bit bigger. What I'm going to do is create a user parameter and using this user parameter, we can control the size of this pendant without actually having to move back into the sketch to change each tiny little variable. To set up a user parameter, we're going to go up to modify and come all the way down here to the bottom. I'm actually gonna do one extra little thing. You'll notice there's a little add to toolbar button right here. We're gonna be jumping in and out of this user parameter pretty often, and I want it to be easily accessible without having to go all the way down through the menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this little button, and you'll notice up at the top, now I have an extra little button that matches this little icon. So I'll go ahead and click here, and this will open up the user parameter dialog box. The user parameter I'm gonna add here is going to be the diameter of our pendant. So to do that, I'm gonna click on the little green button and we're gonna get a name. So in this case, the name of the parameter is going to be PEN and then lowercase d and the units will be millimeters. This expression is the mathematical part that we're going to be thinking about. So in our case, we want to have this be 25 millimeters. So I'm gonna say 25 divided by two, and this is because we're looking at the radius. And then in the comments, we know that we want this one to be the pendant diameter. And we'll say, okay, excellent. With this set up, I can now go ahead and test this. So I'll say, okay, and we can come into the sketch and zoom in here a little bit. And over here, we're gonna go open this up, open up the sketches. And inside the sketch number one, I'm gonna go ahead and name this as well because I wanna be able to access this quickly or if somebody else opens the file, they're gonna be able to tell what this is. And name this pendant profile. Inside this profile, I can now double click on this dimension and start to type in that pen underscore D. And once I begin that, it's going to recognize that I'm looking for a parameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And now this is gonna use the pendant diameter user parameter. Press enter, and you'll see this is fixed across there. And I'll go ahead and stop sketch. Go ahead and turn this. To double check that this is working, we're gonna open up the user parameters again. And if I change this expression, say to 20 millimeters and press enter, you'll notice that my pendant changes on the fly. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this back up to 25, enter, sweet. So now we know that this is working. This now gives you the basic information to create a base object using the sketches, user parameters, and a few constraints so that you can change something on the fly as a client changes their mind throughout the design process.